You're bleeding. What? You should do bodybuilder versus snowballs. Snowballs thrown at Houston till he bleeds. Garrett, I can't do these ideas, man. Why? They seem really easy. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm bodybuilder versus Houston, the toughest man alive. I haven't bled once in my life. You know how long you're gonna be throwing snowballs at me? Forever, an eternity. Think we can get uh, Bro Labs Houston to do God, it? Dude, I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll ask him. Bro Labs Houston, wake oh, up. What is it, dude? God, man, your stinking voice just pierces my ears. Oh, listen, man, I got a video idea you gotta do. You haven't been doing anything on this channel for months. I've been pulling all the weight around here. It's about time you make another Bro Labs video. I got a video idea for you. I'm probably doing versus Houston. God, dude, fine. What is it? Listen, I'm happy you asked. It's a cool science experiment right up your alley. Basically, you're gonna get hit with snowballs until you bleed. It's, it's a fantastic idea, man. You're gonna love it. Seriously, man, I was in the middle of my afternoon nap. Why can't you do this one? God, I hate this guy. Listen, man, you know why I can't do this video idea. I can't bleed. I'm bodybuilder versus Houston, the world's toughest man. You're bro labs, Houston, the guy that does science experiments and the guy that can bleed. <sighs> okay, listen, I'll make a deal with you. If this video that you're about to do gets 20,000 likes, I'll do something more extreme with snowballs, like how about we weaponize them, we'll throw thumbtacks and nails in the snowballs and then throw them at me. Do we gotta well, do Dude, listen, just shut up. I'll do it if you stop talking. God, did anyone ever tell you your voice doesn't match your body? <sighs> Always empty. Thank you, I'm happy you finally decided to participate around here, man. You've been doing nothing for months, it's... God, that dude, he has a drinking problem, you know that? And he stinks really bad, dude. too. I thought I was the only one that could smell it. He smells terrible. Like, I don't think he's ever washed that thing. That lab coat? Yeah, it's, it's, that'd be the same one he's been wearing for years. And it, just in general, he smells. Bodybuilder versus Houston. That guy is so full of himself. I swear to God. Oh, jeez, that's potent. What's up, guys? Yeah, it's Bro Labs Houston. Back again for another video. You're probably thinking, what is Bro Labs? Well, it's a series on this channel where I'm not the world's strongest bodybuilder, but instead, I'm a scientist. Hence the, the lab coat. Now we got a real juicy science experiment for you today. Not just anything can get Bro Labs Houston off the couch, let me tell you. Now let me paint this picture, okay? Imagine you're a little kid having a snowball fight at school, when next thing you know, the whole schoolyard, they, they get in a big group and they say, your eyebrows are stupid looking. Tell me, my eyebrows are fine. They're cool, my mom likes them. And then they all start throwing snowballs at you, like 100 snowballs a second. How many snowballs does it take to make you bleed? That's what I wanna know. And that's what we're gonna find out. So as you can see, no expense was spared in the process of making these snowballs. I got these professional, Snowball making things off Amazon. This one makes a sweet grenade. Pretty cool, huh? And those ones are beautifully round balls. Give me one, Weston. Now, something about this snow. It turns out it forms into a stinking rock. This is like the hardest snow I have seen in my life. It's safer to say it's an ice ball than a snowball. So, there's that. The first target we'll be going for is my back. My prediction is it'll take 10 snowballs before it draws blood. And I am really good at predictions, so I know I'm gonna be right. Oh, that wasn't it! Oh, like, that was like in the middle of my back! All right, one snowball in, nine to go before I start bleeding. You better hit the same spot now. Those are really bad. Was it this? Ah, dang it, Weston! Dang it! Dang, this is gonna take forever because we're not hitting the same spot. Ah! That was closer. <laughs> we hit the, hit the same spot though from last time. <laughs> You're getting worse. You're getting worse. Farted a little bit, yeah. Ah! God! My arm is getting it pretty bad, too. Ah! Ah! God! 
At least he's really accurate. Yeah, now. he's getting it down. He's getting it down. Practice makes perfect. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh my sweet lord. That one sounded painful. <laughs> I think the little bumps is gonna cause a cutting like force. Um You got him oh, right man. above it. <laughs> You're bleeding. What? That is blood. How many are we at? Uh, six? Six? I think. You definitely have a Jeez, cut right there, but that yeah, that's fat. bleed. That's blood. That was fast. Well, that was enlightening. Um, apparently it took about six or so snowballs in the same spot before I started bleeding. However, I am not satisfied. So, we are gonna keep hitting the same spot and we're gonna see how bad it can get. Is it gonna turn into a, you know, life-threatening wound? Probably not, but it might leave a nasty bruise. Oh! oh my lord, that was good accuracy, Weston. I think he hit your arm both times. It, but it felt like it around the same spot. Oh my, ah, it's cold too, it is cold in here. God. We have the heaters on. How are you cold? Someone who did this you got a lot of heat sinks up there. It's a problem. <laughs> Guy behind the camera, terrible carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> Guy in front of the camera, not a good supervisor. Listen, I'm not a contractor. I'm a scientist. <laughs> oh, I'm really not liking this. I'm really not liking it. Worse. I didn't expect this to hurt. This hurts worse oh, than that. You have now a little bit of blood trickling down. This hurts worse than the tactical mace. I figured out the problem. Clearly, I've been screaming in pain. Um, this time, though, I'm going to channel scientific juices inside of me and think analytically about what is happening. And I will report back something intelligent. Oh! oh. <laughs> He's analyzing. Two plus two. Hippopotamus. Okay. When the snowball hit me, it hurt. Someone threw a stinking boulder in the middle of my spine. <laughs> that was my handmade one. <laughs> that thing hit you so hard, I thought you were actually like oh. out of breath from that. Like I thought it actually took the air out of your lungs. <laughs> it uh, definitely, definitely had some weight behind it. Those snowballs really hurt. Uh, arguably weapons. And they're letting kids throw these in school? Come on, government. We need to register these snowballs as lethal weapons, but I thought, how can we make them more dangerous? Obviously, we put an ice cube in it. And then we packed a snowball. So then there's a tar chunk of ice flying inside a chunk of ice. Is it gonna cause more damage? I, I, I bet it does. That's my hypothesis. And I'm a scientist. Did, tell me, did I say that before? Ice cube inside of snowball. Test one, take one. Going now. Ah! Oh. It's the ice cube. I caught it. That's bonus points. That's a like on the video. Ah! You stupid love handle. Hit, get, just hit me the love handle. You know how much I hate getting hit the love handle. You don't have any love handles. The side of my hip set. <laughs> what do you want me to call? Ah! Ah! 
You know, I'm gonna be honest. I, these snowballs are so hard, it, it, they just equally suck. It doesn't matter if there's a giant ice cube in it. I mean, the ice cube's a little bit harder, but it just doesn't make a big difference, I feel. Just throw one ice cube at me. Ah! <laughs> ah! That really stung! <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> what did okay. you discover? That ice cube's hard. Okay, we learned a lot just now, mostly that ice cubes, 100% confirmed dangerous weapons, but I'm sure you're curious. <laughs> Houston, you really cool scientist man, how's your back look? And let me say, I don't think it looks good. I can't see the back, but I can feel my back. And my back is saying, ouch, don't get hit with any more snowballs. Even look at my arm, have you seen my arm? That got like, you know, after shock snow hitting it and it's red i really like this arm too so i'm upset about it two days from now we're gonna check back in to see how my back looks am i gonna be bruised am i gonna have scabs am i still gonna be crying <laughs> No sucks. Ugh. So it's been a couple days later, and I come back to show you the damage that these snowballs slash ice balls did to my poor scientific body. So here you go. As you can see, I think it's caused some slight bruising, uh, which I'm gonna say is impressive for snowballs. I really didn't expect it to do much of anything, and it made me bleed and bruised me. So what did we learn? If you get hit with rock hard snowballs without a shirt on in the same place multiple times, it could cause some damage. <laughs> but I guess if you were just using snowballs like a normal person, it wouldn't matter.